Okay, bro. What's up? Jiu-jitsu what's up? What's up? Oh, jiu-jitsu ako in a bit. Hindi ako marun mag-strike, bro. That's it, bro. That's it. You have to learn it, bro. Dapat yeah. punta ka dito, bro, sa mga bakal gym namin. The Lord the Gym. Bakal gym. Let's go. Oh, Nag-lorde din, nag din naman ako dati. Oh, for, for... Bakal gym talaga, bro. <laughs> no. The best. The best mga yan. Let's go, bro. So, pag-usapan natin ng jiu-jitsu in Philippine politics, right? Were you surprised by like this escalating fallout? So, of course, it started with the demotion of former senior senior deputy speaker to another one of the dozen deputy speaker. And then Sire coming out and saying, resign, resign. I don't like political toxicity. Tapos and, ano, don't be, tam- don't be tambaloslos. Oh, uh, I thought tapos na. And then biglang next thing you know, Sarah erasure kay Romaldes na wala siyang roll down doon sa Unity when in fact andun <laughs> the records na he, she thank him and all oh, of that. that. So parang... Tawa ko na, tawa ko na tawa doon sa isa pang, yung isa pa niyang line, yung ano, yung ay, uh, Ferdinand... Pero ayoko sabihin yung middle name oh, niya. Oh, you're a Maldes. <laughs> Grabe, no? Like, are you... Okay, as a historian, <laughs> is this a new level of Bardagulan? Like, kasi parang it's too early, right? Wala pang first year. Kasi, of course, we saw Bardagulan during Duterte when Alvarez was, you know, the Powerpuff Girls and all day over so Alvarez, you know, uh, being eased out 2018, right? But this is like, wala pang... First year ni tapos yung first year ni junior ganun na do you think it's because of what the Nancy Binay school of thought which is uh Tate Digong was a little bit too rough but junior is too nice but is, is that is that how you read it cuz i think some people are saying kailan na maging Tate Digong style si BBM kasi kinakain ng ano eh his ano talaga no, si, si BBM talaga conflict averse talaga yeah, yun. Yeah, super yeah, nice guy siyang ta- By the way, this is not an endorsement of the I'm just saying it's a temperament issue, right? I mean, you can be a super balaura like me and Leloy but be super nice people. I mean, doesn't I'm just saying yeah, he's very confrontation averse, very chill. If I can put it that way. Chill. Uh-huh. So, it, hindi siya yung di talaga ito na naman. Hindi talaga siya yung tatay niya, di ba? Hindi siya yung tatay niya. Kasi yung tatay niya, mabuburat na yun. Ano, I'm telling you bro, I see him as Romualdez. And mm. I'm just telling you bro, I, as a look, I see him as Romualdez. He doesn't give me this kind meaning of... Mas, ano, meaning, meaning, ano, uh, waray lambing. Yeah, lambing, to, nice uh, guy, well-dressed. Uh, uh, an Ilocano posh. ako. Yeah, posh and all. Alam naman, Ilocano, di ba? Maybe doesn't include me, but Ilocanos are usually like... Simple lang, medyo siga, medyo, alam mo na, medyo frugal, to put it mildly. Iba eh, ito talagang ano eh. Diba? Life is good! Meanwhile, meanwhile yung isa, yung, yung vice president niya, really takes after the father. Yeah, like, next level, no? Next level. Um, I mean, that's the interesting thing. So I think we got it right in terms of saying how different junior is from the senior. I mean, so far, exactly as we said. But I think I underestimated how much the daughter takes after the father. I think I was kind of like, because I, bro, I, ako, I subscribe to the Davao school of thought that says, nung panahon na mayor sh- yung daughter at uh, vice mayor in tatay, marami daw mga ano, disagreements, sometimes public. But hmm. in a way, siguro you could say, she's she was just like a mo- more modernized version of Duterte. But you could say more or less the same algorithm. Parang 2.0. <laughs> While Junior is like totally different algorithm. It's a Romualdez algorithm, right? Uh, saka ano, saka ano, laking mayam. I think yung biggest difference talaga ni Marcos at saka ni, ni Marcos Sr. at Marcos Jr. Laking may, may, ang yaman, laking mayaman si Junior. Si Sr. hindi naman laking mahirap. Pero hindi, hindi siya lang. sanay. Yeah, so sanay. talaga, ilokano siya in that sense. Maroon siya magtipid. Yeah. Ito. Pero dyan lang talaga ito. Correct, correct. Yeah, I mean, wants to live this life. You're right. Wants to live this best life. Nuverish yung isa, yung isa old rich na. Parang, oh, <laughs> parang oh. succession rich. Parang, alam mo oh. na, Kendall, Romulus, sanay na, naka BMW, naka Benz, naka ano. Pero yung tatay niya, parang Logan the father. You know, I had to go rough. Roller. Oh, yeah, brother. man. Yeah, exactly. That's the difference, bro. It's like Kendall versus like Father Logan. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just see it that way, bro. I just see it, I just see it that way. Well, I don't know, maybe Shiv... She, the sister, like, it's more like the dad, maybe yun yung dynamic sa kabila. I don't know. Like, sorry, I'm just 
pressing this succession, you know, like obsession. Oh, oh still, I know. Parang ano parang we're still we're still in the afterglow of that beautiful finale. So uh, I, like, I, I don't know after trauma PTSD. It's like I'm still traumatized, bro. It's like you could see, bro. It's, it's strong, right? It's like traumatized. Yeah. So, in intervention of Anderson Cooper, it was like yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, think he lang, I think I'm off this talaga, character. Yeah, bro. I I mean, I I really love that actor. He's amazing. Did you know that he used just to hold the lighting thing nung sa Amistad na movie? Remember? Oh, tapos, and then he so, would, you know, he would, he lang ng apply siya, then like, apply siya maging personal assistant ni Daniel Day-Lewis just so yeah. he could watch, yeah. watch his bro, process. Where, look at where he is now. Like, wow. wow. I mean, his life story is itself succession, right? Like, next <laughs> level yung guy niya. Now, <laughs> eh, yung, success, eh, yung succession ni Sarah kay Digong. Kasi ganito, bro, ako naman, In fairness kay Sarah, but you could say, well, just common sense lang. You know, she she was very careful not to openly criticize BBM's pivot to the to the US, right? I never heard them criticize BBM when BBM said, medyo kailangan na yusin tong drug war. Uh, where I saw her asserting the father line was on the Elkak Pelkak na yan, yung task force red tagger na yan. Yeah, but I just felt Dun siya medyo nag-assert ng the father brand. But I never, I mean, the only time I saw na she diverged from Marcos on foreign policy quite openly was yung, di ba, yung nag, ano siya, mandarin siya. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ayaw ko ulit niya, baka mga, ano, marami magalit sa akin. Alam niyo na. Alam niyo. Uh-huh. Parang that was it and then nag-petter out na siya eh. So, Mm, like I was expecting in a while actually hindi na, for a while hindi natin siya pinapansin, di ba? So in a, in a way, I think this might, magpapansin. might be good exactly. for her. Oh. I mean, Kung niya, oh, bigla tumasa ang profile niya ulit because for a while, Sarah, Sarah who? Sarah Duterte? Tapos ngayon, parang ah, Sarah Duterte, yeah. Uh, She's like, like She suddenly came out of nowhere. No, parang wolf. Where they, now, so you can see where the Arroyo factor comes in because solid si Arroyo and Sarah and I, I think Sarah's hoping that Aimee will stick with them just like how they did in 2018. But Aimee's brother is the president. For everything you can say about internal family dynamics, after all, they're all Marcos. In fact, I remember... And- And hindi lang brother, I'm his brother is the president and I mean is also first cousins with the speaker of the house, right? So Oh, with yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah for all this. Yeah, right? like I'm like a relationship with Martin Wilde. Exactly. And Martin is a cool guy. I mean, again, I'm not endorsing their politics, but actually for anyone who knows Martin, he's the cool guy, cornell, you know, well-educated guy, smooth guy. Many people are very impressed with him, the ones the diplomats I know have dealt with him. So like yeah. I, this is not Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? I was... I was I, Alvarez I, 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 Martin Romualdez. So, yeah. um, I was just... I was just... I, I just read a letter written by one of his professors in, in Cornell. In Cornell. Yeah. Um, and and uh, then apparently in the in the late 70s, early 80s, right. see uh, Randy Barker um, and uh, oh. Frank Goldie. Right, um, right. So, I'm reading a letter from Randy, Randy Barker, um, written in the 80s. So apparently sila ni Gole, they taught an economics class in Cornell on the Philippines, economic history of the Philippines. Oh, and guess who signs up for the class? A young Martin Romualdez. And sabi ni, sabi ni Barker that all of the people there were like vociferously anti-Marcos, binabanatan si Marcos sa klase. And si Martin Romualdez that was just quiet for an entire semester. So that's... Politico, uh, di ba? Politico, yeah. di ba? Yeah. He oh. just like, keep quiet, let's just get through this. Like mm. kind kind of like Tom, right? The character ni Tom. Succession is like we're just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go through this, and know. Yeah, me me. Ano talaga sanay siya maging chill? Because if you're among kung circles mo are like what whatever liberal progressive circles in Cornell na you know usong banatan yung pamilya mo, de ba? Tapos and you wanna survive that? Maybe you kind of have to develop a new law. Siya. And I don't think UP law was a bastion of pro Marcos sentiment. When yeah, yeah. He lost. So you can expect once he was in UP, even more to the left of Cornell, right? Like I think Benedict Anderson would say, like UP is one of the most Marxist leftist universities out there. I mean, probably mm. next to Berkeley, right? Uh, where you're based. So I'm. And then the Lamang I would say Lamang sila sa amin. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. You know, I'm just being nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then, but I'm. See, I rope. I'll rope you in. Oh, Berkeley, pwede na yan. <laughs> no, but seriously, bro. I mean, so like, get into bro. One argument is, I hope I don't get in trouble, but one argument is that there was a China-US angle here, apparently. You know, and I, I'm not saying that, but some people better informed than me 
um, you know, who, who used to be in cabinet, who know their ways around. They were saying there is a U.S.-China angle to this and that the plan was kind of get rid of from all this. I'm not saying who exactly behind it, but to replace it with a leadership that could, from that position, push back against Marcos pro-U.S. Pro policy, mm -hmm. right? So just I'm saying. just saying, I'm just saying, like, there's some sort of high-stakes new Cold War geopolitics to it. Na inter na internal, na na ng so you can clearly see how the China US competition is now feeding right into the fabric of the ruling coalition. Mm. Except the problem is it's early on, and Marcos, as I argued, has a robust base because the Tulfos are with him, right? Uh they're in the Congress, they're in the Senate, very strong, very powerful. The uh the LGUs are with Romaldes, including from Davao and all. In fact, the person that replaced Arroyo's uh, speaker of the senior speaker is from BDP Laban, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Matalino itong si Rosie Laromaldes and Marcos. Hey, like... May tanong may may ko, bro. E yung, yung, yung lakas na takeover na ba talaga ni Martin? Yeah. A, which, which is just a proxy for another question, which is how powerful is Gloria now? Yeah, that's a big question. Uh, that's a big question. I think, I mean, this is the Manuel Manolo Quezon take, right? The Manolo Quezon is may nakaran so may nakaren kasi nag uh, nag nag you know nag feel na malakas masada so parang throwing weight around so mo may may miscalculation and reality they miss you so um I was I listening to a podcast na uh, I was listening naman to a podcast ni Christian Esguera in interview niya si former secretary Ronald Yamas so ang tanong ngayon is you know is oh, GMA I will have soon on my podcast too, by the way yeah so oh, tanong niya eh. ano gagawin ni GMA ngayon um mananahimik yeah, it was kind maybe. of like you know, I guess dahil nakulong na siya, baka gusto niya mag-ingat a little bit, di ba? Kasi, you know, yeah. if you push it so far, you know, you, you've had an experience of going up against the president yeah. and, you know, you know, there are limits to that. Not to say na makukulong siya ulit. Uh, on the other hand, sabi ni Ronald, is what if she just says, you know, I, I'm old, um, I want to leave a legacy, I'm going to go for broke and, and just like, do everything oh, I can. Oh, girl. Diba? That's, 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 girl. that's, 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 parang, wow. maybe, there's a kind of fork, like parang based on Ronald's analysis, parang may fork in the road si former President Arroyo. And I, I, I like I like the way you phrase it. Like, so ano nga ba? Anong landa sa tatahake ni I mean, Gloria? As far as Tita Arroyo is concerned, I mean, she looked fantastic the other year I saw her just before pandemic. Um, You know, uh, she looks much better than when she was president back then. I think she still has a 10 years or so in her if she wants to be. So my sense is the, the, the safe one was she'll just wait it out for Sire to be the next president, right? And just mm -hmm. keep her networks and all. And you know, I think there was a kind of a miscalculation because you know, I cannot blame people, but the degree of place of pride that she was given during trips of Marcos, next level, bro. So remember, don't you Magaling? I think Randy David was the first to analyze this, right? If you look at the picture in the White House, Marcos Jr. is here. To the right is Romualdez. No, 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 no. The left is Arroyo, but she's like just deputy speaker. And then the ambassador is there, he should be there. Or it should be the foreign secretary. So, like, she was placed well ahead of everyone else, right? So, parang, I cannot blame her if she kind of felt, you know, and she was called secret weapon by Marcus Jr. The thing I say is, Marcus Jr. is such a charmer, right? Mm. He sounds like he can make you feel super special. Mm. So, in a way, it could be a political strength. Parang Imelda. So, Romales nga talaga, no, charmer. Charmer. I mean, like, I remember when I saw him a few years ago during an event, siya pa ang pumunta sa akin para mag-shake hands. Like, he's there on the other side. He will go all the way to you to shake your hands. Right? I'm not gonna name names. Some people from the other side, like, gaganan lang sa'yo or like, gaganan. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, I'm not desperate to like meet big people, whatever. It's like, hello. Um, But my point is like, the guy, you know, he knows how to be so charming and I don't know. I mean, it's a Romaldes thing. I don't. It's. I, I get. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I just because. So I think that may sometimes make you feel you're more special than you think you are. But then yeah. you have with a powerful. Yeah. Friend, but yeah. Yeah. You have a powerful yeah. friend, the vice president. You're uh -huh. with the sister of the president. I don't know. Like, and then Pero ultimately, uh, you know, if you're the speaker of the house, you're there, and and GMA said this as well. You're there with the blessing of the president, right? Um, Jeremy said yeah. this. So ultimately, the fact that Martin Romualdez is still there 
And, and, and the fact that yeah. he talks as if he's in constant co- coordination with the president, right? He's yeah. always hinting na yung ginagawa niya may bas-bas ng presidente. Napakalinaw na push comes to shove. Alam mo kung sino yung pipiliin ng presidente. Um, you can also see this in the behavior of Sandro Marcos, di ba? Sandro Marcos is of course yeah. voting with with his father, uh, with his with his uncle, right? Especially in the charter change. The co-author niya sa Maharlika. Co-author niya the yeah. And then voting against char- charter change is of course Pulong Duterte, right? So so nakikita mo yung yung uh, guhitan. Meanwhile, kung makinig ka ng SBNI, and this ties back to yung sinasabi mo yung new Cold War. <laughs> Have you tried watching the Gong show on SMNI with Kibuloy? Yeah, yung, I watched. Yeah. Diba? Walang ginawa ako hindi magreklamo about Bongbong's foreign policy. Diba? Yeah. When he's not you know, recollecting... With Kibuloy on the other side asking oh, question. Oh, 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 Mr. President, ganyan, ganyan. And Duterte, wala naman, hindi, hindi naman ako presidente with all due respect. Ha? Pero para sa... Oh. Walang alam itong isa to. Ganun pa siya, may pasimple pa siyang... Na, na. Tapos, tapos sobrang interesting because yung, yung questions naman dun sa show niya are obviously planted at one point. Kasi yung nagtatanong... Ay, hindi ko alam yan. Ha? Spontaneous si tatay. Bal- hindi ko alam. Pero some of it <laughs> might be planted. But, kasi may section na SMNI reporters yung nagtatanong. So kung SMNI wow, reporters... Wow! SMNI follower here! Yeah! <laughs> may sabihin baka planat, may, may chance sa pl- planado kasi reporter mismo yung nagtatanong. So, sinanong siya, Mayor, anong sa tingin mo doon sa ginawa ni Sara na umalis ng lakas? Ang sabi lang niya, I know my daughter, there is there, there is more to this than meets the eye. So, yeah. so oh, oh, diba? what's that? That's it. Uh, Wala na, may nanalo na, huyan na. That's it. Hindi, ganito bro. Ha? My hunch is, and so far, Bumbong has proven me over it, correct over it. My own just Bomong will do the dilution strategy. What should I even choose when I can just reconfigure the map a little bit? So maybe Maro has you want to bring him in. I mean, I was with Edwin Lasherda, right? In an interview with CNN Philippines. Um, and he said Marcos is open. To, I'm sorry, Maros is open to it once the offer is really there. Go for it. DTI. Go for it. So if you're if you're Marcos Jr. Even if not secretary level, the USEX, the ASEX, the people you promote here and there, you can bring in from a faction that is not related to Arroyo. Uh, because yun nga, diba, ang problema ni BBM is slightly similar to Duterte, which is he didn't have his own team once he was in power. His team mm-hmm. was Vic Rodriguez, right? Like, and that's it. It's and over. Now, and, now, and now really Birch. the first I know the first lady, diba? Parang the first yeah. lady is his team. Oh. But he doesn't, he doesn't even have his sister. I mean, diba? Parang he doesn't even yeah, have yeah, his exactly. sister. So initially, talaga dependent siya. So kung ikaw si Marcos Jr., your hope is, Martin, kaya mo yan. Let's build uh-huh. our own, you know? So Martin is really the, the organizing principle of the ruling coalition. And Marcos Jr.'s best hope to make this work. And he... And Martin being Martin, he can bring Marojas. He can talk to maybe Ronald Liamas can say more more than me. Like I love him also in terms of he can drop the names, right? And then have you noticed, Leloy? Some opposition leaders were totally quiet on the Moharlika issue recently. <clears throat> uh, I'm not talking about you know, you mga maraming ku. But you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Like they're uh. totally quiet. Like where are they? You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm 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 telling you, bro. The Marcos U.S. tail. He's super winning over whoever was supposedly in opposition na medyo may military background, medyo, ano, medyo galit sa China. I'm just saying, bro, where are they? Super silent. I don't hear much. You know what I'm saying? So if you're Marcos, you want Martin to bring all of them together. Like, I was very impressed with Martin a few months ago. I mean, politically, though, this is not morally. Politically, when he went to Davao, bro, and oversaw out taking all of these Davao people. Oh, <laughs> Ang lakas, di ba? Ang lakas. Like, siga, siga. sorry, tatay. Wala na, lalangawin na kayo sa 2025, di ba? So, I'm telling, and then, uh, there was a leaked survey by SWS that says Manny Pacquiao will top the race for Senate uh, mm. in 2025. So, Manny Pacquiao as being the other Mindanao, right? Could be also brought into the uh, brought into the fold, right? So, I don't know. I mean, so ah, sa sabi mo pag 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 dilute and reset the deck. So sa sabi mo pag pag ang ang na ang analysis mo kung wale ano gumuho ang unity with Sarah. Ang bago mong unity is with Pacquiao, with Tulfo, with Marroas. Yeah, <laughs> and that's more than enough. 
That's more than enough. That's more than enough to overboil. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the Duterte's are a pretty potent force. But if you come up with the right coalition, they, they are beatable, yeah. right? They are beatable. And, um, yeah, you, you know, them, coalition, yeah. well, it's really important in the Philippines. Co- coalition, coalition lang. No, no, no single, and well, l- lagi naman ngayon. Pero parang unity, in Marcos's mind, is I think a strategy of coalition building. Yeah. That, that grand, is... Grand unity. coalition. Unity uh, in diversity. Kaya mga uh, girl dyan, mga dati military na opposition, sali kayo dyan. Yung mga anti-China, dito kayo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And this is where vulnerable the Duterte coalition kasi they're taking a very unpopular stance on foreign policy. Mm. Like, tingin kasi nila, makerry over nila yung popularity ni Digong when he was in power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you're out of power, it's like, you're kind of in the museum, right? It's like, mm. I mean, it's, it's, it's so interesting when, we, and you said this a couple of episodes back in your show, that 84% of Filipinos were against Duterte dun sa China policy niya. And yet, he still had equivalent numbers of support. Siguro nakakalaki ng utak yun, di ba? Parang, wow! You know, you, you, yeah. you disagree with me on this and you still give me that kind of support? Probably means I can do whatever the hell I want, right? And, and, and obviously, that's not that's not gonna apply now, right? Because yeah. this is... You're not in power anymore. Kahit, kahit sabihin mo pa na naging majority president siya dahil sa, sa inyo, this is still a majority president who is taking on a position that is popular with a yeah. significant majority of Filipinos. Hey, That's Marcos approval is 80%. So yeah. he won 60% of the vote. So must you know like it's not like Marcos Jr is unpopular and won like 20% of the votes. Hindi eh. So if if your game is oh popular si Tatay Digong noon and then let's but BBM is you know yeah, yeah so so like, so like a president with 80% approval who has a foreign policy with at least 80% approval. No, with 90% approval, bro. It's yeah. higher. Yeah, it's high, way oh, higher. Even higher, okay. With, it's even with, higher, bro. 90%, yeah. 90%, with 90%. Like, good luck dun sa mga pro-China dyan. Like, literally, good luck sa inyo. Durugin kayo. Sobrang minority kayo. Yeah. Kaya nga, ang worry ko, mas sobra na itong US tilt na yan. Kasi parang, syempre, kung ikaw mo, mas, sabi ng survey, 91% na oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <all> in. <laughs> Yeah. Maka- sabi na survey tapos makakabiyahe pa ako brother dahil dyan yeah, diba? I was like Dora the Explorer level na daw hindi na daw Magellan Jr. right so I'm just saying brother brother I'm just saying brother kailang Washington trip kaya ako pwede kaya ako makabalik sa London I'm just saying I mean diba tara niya may King Charles the Third pa siya si Biden na nga hindi pumunta diba um Sinabi ko, siguro kasi Irish siya. <laughs> si Biden, Irish siya sa ayon sa English. Oh, no, but bro, seriously bro, don't underestimate the Marcos coalition because ang dami pang nag-apply dun sa entrance. Oh, so, oh, I'm, oh. I don't need to name names, just look at the people who are suddenly quiet and used to be super anti-Marcos last year elections. I'm just saying, malaki ito. So, I don't think he's, he wants to kick out Arroyo or ano. He's gonna keep them, but you know, a little bit of resetting of the deck. Hey, ikaw, pasok ka dito. Ay, ikaw, nandito. But Martin should be there. Kasi, yun nga eh. And then, sa Senate naman, Rafi Tulfo, he's the guy, he's the man. The idol. No problem with Marcos. In fact, consultative pa yung dalawa na yan. Ayaw ko dyan sa China, sa NGCP. Oh, nakinig si Marcos. Tignan natin yan. Di ba? Like, mm. And then Tulfo is on the right side of history on the China question, on the land grabbing issues. And well, like, he's right. He's raising all the right questions. So, tsaka, tsaka, alam, maruno siyang bumanat eh. Kunwari, babanat sa drug war. Uh, Hindi na babanat si Duterte. Si Bato ang babanatan. Ganyan, di ba? Uh, right. Tapos, tapos tapos kung may babanatan siya na other people sa Senado hindi yung mga sobrang sikat yung mga tao na parang alam mo naman may problema babanatan niya si Cynthia Villar no, over housing no, parang no, napaka no, napaka calculated kasi ang image ni Rafi Tulfo palaban di ba so babanat ka ng palaban ka kailan medyo mabigat yung babanatan mo uh, Cynthia Villar bato pero hindi sobrang bigat na Duterte na digong Duterte level si don't, don't burn lang. the bridges keep the no oh, sakto lang yeah, sakto lang. although i think was it idol or one of the two they got some hit when they kind of implied they're okay with ABS CBN franchise re- restoration just sobra na yun no? sobra medyo na may gun- yun lang yung oh. time na nakita ko na medyo may con- i think he lost kasi media kayo eh kasi and, and, and saka sabit ka rin dyan because you know Rafi Tulfo you're media di ba so yeah, you, exactly. you get a reputation out of being 
you know, somebody who spoke his mind on media and who actually did not like, I remember the legend of Rafi Tulfo starts when he starts picking fights with FG, with, Aro with, with uh, expert, Arroyo. Let's have a special episode on on, on the Tulfo. I'm telling you, man. Ang unang, pin right pinak like ang unang pinakamabigat na inaway ni Rafi Tulfo, kaya nga siya na-fire from a job, was because inaway niya si FG Arroyo. Wow, next level. So, so for him to say na tama yung ginawa ni Duterte sa ABS-CBN, is, you know, given his background, it doesn't it doesn't really register well for me. Mm, mm. No, no, I, I just said on the ABS CBN, he was implying that okay, sure, with the franchise. Mm -hmm. no, mali yun, mali, mali yun. And then, big lang. Anyway, um, how should I? My, my point is, and the room for maneuver is huge for Marcos Jr. He just needs to be a little bit north of chill, but definitely south of Tatay style strongman. Do you get what I'm saying? If he keeps that zone, I think he can, he can get it across the line and finish on a strong note that makes things easier for the next generation. Do you think brother do kailan yun shock troops at this point? Si Marcus Jr. May uh, mga mga tira, mga talagang tirador, mga operators. Si internal troops. reorganization. Si Paul Soriano yung nagreorganize. So one of the things they're doing is, di ba meron na silang version ng Abante? Mm. Like, malakan yung Abante. Something like that. <laughs> yung parang, eh, medyo tabloidish. Si Pangulong Marcos nandyan sa bukit, tumulong sa magsasaka, yung mga ganun. So I think Paul Soriano is still going through some Rebooting and all. But Paul is also a nice guy, right? That's my point. Eh? Anyway, when I say nice guy, I'm talking about temperament. It's not you know, a moral uh, statement. Mm -hmm. Let me end on this well, note. First, a lot of the, you know, by, by nice guy, we mean they pass the beer test. There are people who are cordial yeah. and friendly enough and fun enough that if they ask you to have a beer with them, even if you don't like them, you might like that. enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there, there are people who can, I mean, just to be clear, you know, Lelo is the same. Is the same. He, he's not a nice guy, but he'll pass all those tests, right? Like he's the nicest guy to be around with. But Chilsha and all of that. But I want to end on the opposition because I, I know a lot of people are bashing me on Reddit, among others. What do you think about Richard Hidarian? I mean, like, dude, I mean, I have a whole Reddit thread. Yeah. So going back to this, just to be clear, uh, let's talk about a little bit about uh, Risa and Lenny, what is your read on those two um, opposition figure uh, women, lady, uh, strong women, or uh, iron ladies, whatever you want to call it? I don't read, man, just quickly on that because we want to be fair. We don't want to just talk about Tulfo and BBM and Sarah. We want to also talk about the other people. Well, uh, nung, nung, nung election, uh, iba yung electoral strategy, definitely, right? Um, si Risa mas mas likely yan sumuong sa teritory na may pro Marcos mayor nung election this is this is this interesting there's that kind of um different electoral strategy and right. you know parang mas parang i get the impression na mas brass na mas talagang brass tax yung electoral strategy ni ni sa election and and that's also that's that's partly why you know and, and of course this was impossible for Lenny because kalaban niya si Marcos head to head but you know Risa obviously got Marcos voters right so right. so iba yung strategy but that that's also because iba yung position na tinatakbuhan um i don't know actually uh, Risa's here um in in Berkeley in Berkeley right now and uh, actually after this i'm going to watch her talk and I, I'll, I'll get back to you i'm going to go to one of her uh, i'm going to go to her co consultation with bay area pinoys and see see, right. see what she has. Oh, you mean Risa? Yeah, yeah. Say yeah, yeah. regards yeah, yeah. to Ma'am Risa. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, bro, I'm I don't know how many people out there, but ako, my contention is this Risa is not getting enough love. I I I call her situation yeah. singular, singular struggle. Singular because it's palaban and conviction based, but singular also in the sense that I'm not seeing the pro Lenny people rallying behind Risa since Lenny for now is uh Politically speaking, I mean, or even electorally speaking, it's kind of in a dormant situation, right? She's focused on the angat buhay, she's focused on civil society. But and sa senado si Risa, so as the only imagine national... your only opposition senator, eh? like your only exactly election. only national elected only, let's put it that way only senator that voted against Maharlika, right? Our the only nationally elected uh, opposition figure, right? Dapat talaga ibu kung opposition ka, yeah, that's your leader, and that's you it. know. Yeah, Lenny, Lenny, like I, I don't know if this is a Lenny problem or a Lenny follower problem, right? 
because Lenny said, Lenny herself said, you know, uh, these are yeah. the leader of the opposition, right? So, who it pinks? Sinabi na kayo, sinabi na tayo ng so, ng order na. Na, natin na may bago na tayong leader. Kasi sinabi na tayo, di ba? Exactly. So, hindi na dapat. Leloy, pag nakahanap ka ng mga bloggers na kakamping or whatever na have talked about Riza as much as I, who's not even uh, kakamping, whatever, you come back to me and tell me. So, my sense is, okay, mainstream media, 19 ko, I'll be honest, parang may, minsan feeling ko they're not covering her enough, no? Like, as much as they should. Like, she was with Tsai Ing-wen of Taiwan. But, sana naman yung mga thought leaders ng, ano, yung mga nandyan sa Rappler, yung mga nandyan sa, ano, di ba? Baka naman, di ba? Baka naman, di ba? So, hindi. Um, so, I don't know if this is pissing off some people, but sorry, I have to say it. Uh, but at the same time, eh, ganito, I also now see the vis- wisdom of what Lenny is doing because I was just going through her Twitter the other day, etc. Major, I got into some trouble na naman by making sutil comments. Not because I, I said something like pa joke na yung angat buhay fundraising. Oh, di ba advice namin yun? But, you know, I'm just being makulit. So kinorek ako ni Rafi Magno, yung executive director na angat buhay. Then na comment yung anak ni Lenny. So wala lahat na haters ko nagdagsaan. So ako naman, okay, Sabbath day yun, Sunday. Me being me, it's like, mm, hindi ko pa kailangan yan. Control recharge, Sabbath day. The next day, immediately 2 a.m., nag-respond ako. Congratulations! I was just being sutil, whatever. But, um, but yun nga eh, like, ako, for me, and I was just looking at Len, in fairness naman, I think she's just trying to be above the fray and focus on civil society. And in fairness, I think Angan Buhay is making a lot of inspirational vibes there that is not appreciated. But I just want to say this, Len, I want to get your point of view because Having said all of that, I'm still standing by my position na, na sana Lenny a little bit more called out. Some people who purportedly support her but are really spreading a lot of toxicity and nonsense and denialism and blah, blah, blah there, which is kind of creating a dissonance. So, I, I mean, there are many people who will say, di ba bait naman si Lenny kasi mga supporters niya napaka-judgmental, elitista, ganun, ganun. Now, I don't agree that that's generally correct, but I can I know who they are referring to. These are people who are trying to cancel Vico Soto or cancel me for that matter. I mean, how dumb can it get, right? To be honest, like seriously, you want to cancel Vico? People like me, like are you kidding me, right? Um, <laughs> well, well, I think. Then it's like toxic. Then oh, sorry. Yeah, meron talaga ng toxic. And then um, okay. To be fair to mom. Yeah, think, we're just being fair. Oh, yeah, meron talaga ng level C si former Vice President Robredo that she went through something difficult. She went through it despite not actually wanting to go through it because toto naman w- yes. when, when she declared her candidacy late it wasn't because like papa bebe siya ayaw talaga niya di ba napakalinaw yan um and daming daming gusto na daming gusto mag mag magdeclare si Lenny for president 2016 pa lang di ba parang okay. ayaw talaga niya tumakbo for president so she did something she didn't want to do and because of that she attracted all of these supporters and there there is a sense that gusto niya magpahinga she wants to chill out and so if we are going to demand that she kind of like na manduhan pa niya itong pink movement yeah, that's the term they use the demand eh. yeah demanding doubt manduhan manduhan, manduhan. Doubt. parang i guess from her perspective it's like ano pa bang gusto niyong ibigay ko diba kasi ang dami na niyang binigay yeah, so that's that's i think that's i think being fair to 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 the former vice president On the other hand, I mean, yeah, you're preaching to the choir here. Um, it's so hard to deal with the kind of belief that is so that is so solid that it 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 does not allow for any kind of cognitive dissonance, right? Napaka napaka lino dapat ng narrative na dinaya. Yeah, bastos, bro. I mean, what's the name of that guy? Tarantado ng kalbo na yan, yung cartoonist. Tawagin pa naman ako Epal, like. Dude, I mean, I have some respect. You can be a little bit. I mean, if we can have disagreement, and you know, I'm not gonna call you Apple or something like that, but I had to call him back. Like you're the original Apple by making cameo of me and all that. So, like, I'm bustos, bro. Like, what are they trying to achieve you by by dropping words like that? I, you know, I mean, I, I'm being kind, right? Uh, I could have said many things, but I'm just being kind here. I don't know. I mean, I understand the Lenny position, but it's just that she happens to be the most prominent opposition leader, even if Reza is there. So, I don't know, sometimes I hope may just sana may effort na ganon. If not openly, but, you know, behind okay. the scenes. Okay, bro, kung, to, kung, kung, tumakbo yung, kung tumakbo yung senador, we should really demand na dapat mandohan yung mga followers a bit more. Yeah, Because, this time talaga, bro. Grabe ang toxic ng iba, bro. Lalo yung mga anonymous account pa ng iba dyan. I, I don't know, bro. Buti nga, I'm a very patient guy, no? Kasi, Pansin ko bro, yung ibang tao, in lang sila ng supporter ng ganitong politiko. 
automatically doon na sila sa kabila. Unfortunately, oh, wala like that. But ako naman, you know, I'm sport eh. Like, I'm not gonna take it against Lenny for supporters to attack me. But I'm gonna say, Lenny, maybe you wanna call out these people because there are a lot of other people who are being pushed to the other side. Ah, mga yan, dilawan, elitista, ganun. I can see. I mean, ako na nga inattack nila, di ba? And, and like, on substantive grounds. Like, seriously? Father, diba? father ang liit-liit na nga lang ng opposition. Yan nga eh. Tapos, konti na nga lang may paki sa kanila na katulad natin na may platform. I don't wanna be mayabang, but like, How many people with my kind of platform and voice are even bothering to fall? And then gaganin niyo ako. Ibang klase talaga tong mga to. But see, I'm sport. I didn't take it against Lenny. But guess what? Someone else they'll take it against Lenny because sanga call out these people. But yung ay this is the tragedy of this is the predicament, not maybe trap, but predicament that we're facing here. But let's end on a more positive note, bro. No. Um, <laughs> I think we have come a long way since last year when we started this podcast. No, I think we were kind of in a much more painful, tortured situation back then. I kind of feel better. I'm not saying it's because chill CBBM. I'm just saying the whole unity drama is like, hmm, malang katubasan to, maraming plot twist to, and potentially interesting. No, so I, I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. Oh, by the way, bro, my mga comments jan sabi nung isa. Ano daw tayo? Usapan kalye daw yung podcast natin. Walang ya. Meron mar- mga usapan kalye na may 1971 to 1979. Tapos kinikwiz ba? Ano nangyari na 1990? Ano nangyari na 1974? Bakit yung Junisha ay all exporting? Maghanap kayo ng usapan kalye na may data. Oh, oh, oh. Touch naman. Touch naman, brother. Grabe naman. Pero bro, actually, I think it's a compliment. Relatable daw tayo. <laughs> Pero actually, uh, uh, usapan, ka- us- us- usapan kalye, if, if, if it's in the sense that it's uh, that that usapan kalye can be about democracy can be yeah, well, well and then wala it. naman ako naniniwala naman ako na maraming pilipinong ganun magsalita sa ganun magsalita sa kanya katulad ni tatay <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much bro i enjoy it um i'm just saying despite all our frustration and predicament i feel a bit better about the country i feel a bit better about uh, i i don't know i i i God willing, I'm being reasonable here. It's just like, medyo parang the heaviness is not there. I'm just, I'm just elevate like, epal lang yung iba dyan. But honestly, overall, I don't know. I just feel may pag-asa pang Pilipinas talaga. Honest, I believe it. I really believe it. And I look forward uh, that God willing, we'll catch up here. Oh, uh, we're gonna do studio na ha? Medyo social na tayo. Doon na tayo sa BGC. BGC. Oh, sige, sige, sige. sige What's bubuloy. up, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Ito na yung Ali G, bro. What's up? That's it. That's it, bro. I'm keeping this energy because in, in, in two hours, there'll be Champions League finals. And I'm actually betting against this because they've defeated this. So I'm going to be... Anyway. All right, bro. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day. Just to tell you, later on UFC, it's going to be a fight between two jiu-jitsu masters. Right? Oh. Alex Oliveira versus... Ano? Yung isa. Right? Okay. mag jiu jitsu mo na ako. So busy ako today. Okay, bro. Jiu-jitsu ako. Tapos manunod ako ng talk ni Sen. Pag-uwi mo sa Pinas, natuluan mo ka ng konti ah. Jiu-Jitsu. Sige, sige. Oh. So, ikaw na lang. Ako. Uh, na now, lang. I go to Jiu-Jitsu and then there, directly after, I I watch uh, a, a speech by the great Senator Antiveros. Ayun! And send my regards, huh? Yeah! Right. Represent! Okay. Have a good day, boy. Bro, okay. God bless. Talk to you soon. Yeah.